Howdy. I'm Cyber Action. Outlying this one crafted. And today we're going to be talking about animations and some do's and don'ts. We've got a problem um, with uh, some animators and we keep seeing these same issues coming around and around and around. And so I wanted to make a quick guide on it to just talk about it and hopefully help. Out. So we have this problem where, um, see down here where Blockbench has this big exclamation point. It's trying to tell you that there's a problem. People aren't clicking that and fixing these. And then they send them off to partners or they send them off to studios like they're done and they're good and they're finished and they're not. If you have animations with errors you need to fix these it's broken there's a problem there's something wrong you need to fix so let's go over a few of those here's one of them the most common one is right here you cannot have a smooth frame without two of them there must be two smooth frames in between the linears for it to work. So this air is telling me that here on in lights at this spot is not allowed. That I need to come in here and I need to put another one and now the air goes away. You should not be selling and shipping animations with airs in them. That's a bad job. You shouldn't do that. Please stop that. If there's errors in your animations and you don't need you don't know how to fix them, then you need to go ask the community how to fix them and fix them. Don't ship them like it's a competed product. It's not. Okay, here's another one. So I'm gonna come over here to this fancy little icon that says loop, and I'm gonna loop this animation so that it goes, right? And I'm just going to make sure that everything at the back and the end is the same, right? So when you do this guy, a lot of times when you put these smooths on the end and at the beginning, it, it can't do the math right here. So what, what smooth is doing is it's saying, okay, I'm moving, I'm moving, and then... It just does a little extra math. So over here, it, it just flows. It makes it nice and smooth. But when it gets to the end of the frame, it can't it can't do that math there because it's the end. It's the end of the animation. It can't do the math at the beginning of the animation because it's the beginning of the animation. If you want that to be smooth, you need to use an animation controller. And you need to smooth it with the animation controller. So instead, these need to be linear at the front and the end, and you need to have this pattern. So you have linear, smooth, smooth, linear. Now you could have a billion smooths in here. It doesn't matter. They just have to be surrounded by a linear on each side. And if you only have one of them, then it's going to give you an error saying you can't do that. Now, the animation will still work in the game, kind of. Kind of. But it's going to pop. It's going to have problems because the math doesn't work. It's going to cause performance issues. And if you've got 80 of these bugs, 80 of these in one animation because it's a big thing, that's a problem. That's a performance nightmare. Someone's got to go fix all of those. It takes days and hours, and I, I kid you not, people spend hours and days trying to debug this. Because for them, all they see on their side is the popping on this end. So if all of these are smooth, then when it comes to here, and it tra tries to transition to the next animation or back to here, it can't do that math, and then there's a, a pop. And it, and it could it could only be once in a while. It could be once every minute. It could, t it, it, but now what? So you see this pop that shouldn't be there. 
Now what? You, that poor studio partner is going to have to figure out what animation, where it's at. It, it's it's very difficult. Very difficult. It costs so much time and money because the animator wasn't paying attention and didn't have linears on the end and didn't properly put in two of them and and just simply check in check in for errors and making sure that your your start and your end are the same an easy way you can do that is select all your firsts and put them at the end and then that way it always loops it just always is gonna loop because you copied the fronts and you put them at the end and so they're the same so regardless of what it does in the middle the this side and that side are gonna always be the same so I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted, and I'm just trying to say, please stop doing this. And if you've got airs in Blockbench, you need to fix them yourself and not ship that animation as a finished, completed, quality checked triple A asset. Don't do it. Fix all those things yourself. I, I it's been. I mean, we're not talking about this is weeks old or this is months old. This is like, we've been seeing this for years now. Years now. We are still losing money in studios because people won't fix this and deal with it. So please fix it and deal with it if it's your job to. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and, and and sub. We got a new sub option now. We got super chats now. We got all kinds of things. Member only videos. We might have some of those coming up. So join in and help support CyberX.